Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Elements tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a narrative or voiceover to your video project. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Travis and I love to film unboxing videos of cool new gear that I get for filmmaking and photography. If I ever go someplace cool, I'm definitely gonna film a vlog about it. If I have any DIY projects around the house, usually assembling Ikea furniture or something smart home related, I'll film those too. I also love electric cars, so if I'm ever doing anything on the Tesla Model 3, I'll put that here too. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you head down below and smash that subscribe button. So in today's video, I wanna show you how easy it is to add a narrative or voiceover to your video project directly within Adobe Premiere Elements. There is no additional software needed. It's a nice, simple, easy function built right into the program. So let's head on into the program and get started. So here we are inside the Adobe Premiere Elements software. I have preloaded a previous project that I was working on that I actually used some voiceover for to show you how easy it is to add narration or voiceover to your videos. So the first thing that you want to look at in your timeline is the bottom two rows. And you'll see in the bottom two rows, one of them is actually called voice and one of them is called music. So Adobe has kindly already put these into your timeline with the future expectation that you might be doing a voiceover or narration to your videos. So that's pretty awesome. It's already set up for you. So you want to take your cursor and place it on the timeline where you want to start your voiceover recording. And don't worry about this too much because you can actually move them later if you want to, but this just gives you a good start. And as you're doing the voiceover, the video will play as well. So if you want to speak to something or highlight something in the video, this is a big help because the video will be playing and you can watch it at the same time that you're doing your voiceover. Once you've selected your spot, you want to head up to the right hand side, click on tools, and then at the top here, you're going to see two tabs, a video tab and an audio tab. Click on the audio tab and then click on narration. Now you're going to see on here the microphone sensitivity. So as I'm speaking right now, you can actually see it moving so you can make your adjustments here. You can also mute the audio while you're recording. And if you want to change your microphone up here, you just click on this and you can select a different microphone if you have multiple microphones set up. Once you're satisfied with all of your settings, you just click on that record and you will see it instantly starts to paint onto your timeline here. Once you're finished with your recording, simply press the stop button and this is what your voiceover will look like. Now, as I mentioned a bit earlier, you do have the option of moving this around so you can drag it within the timeline if you want to line it up to a different spot. So there you have it, a real easy way to add a voiceover or narrative to your video project. If you like this video, make sure you head down below and hit that like button. It really makes a difference. If you want to see more videos like this one, smash that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy out there.